Disney may have just found its next big thing, and it comes in the form of a ghost and her supernatural best friend. Who could have known? A few episodes in and the ghost and Molly McGee is quickly becoming a fan favorite of the Carson community and for good reason too. Quirky, random, and goofy, the show has taken a special place in the hearts of a lot of people in the few days it has been out. That's right and that's absurd. The show literally came out about 5 to 7 days ago, about October 1st, and it has already grown such a following. But why is the show so popular you may ask? Well, I have three reasons or factors for you. And the first one is that its charm can be found in the simplicity it displays. And the plot is just so simple. It's about an enthusiastic 13-year-old Thai girl named Molly and the grumpy but big-hearted ghost Scratch. Now Molly moves into a new town and meets Scratch in the attic of her new house. In their first encounter, Scratch is pretty upset that there's a new random family in the house coming to disrupt his peace. So he proceeds to curse Molly as a way to try and get her away, but that blows up in his face when he accidentally binds them together forever. Scratch eventually warms up to her as the duo go on adventures with Molly trying to find her way through her new life in town to a new school trying to make new friends. That's basically it. That's the plot. And the show does such a great job in executing it that you feel that it's about much, much more. Now, from the plot, we go to the dynamic between Molly and Scratch. Now, the titular duo have a fun and carefree relationship with each other that adds so much to the show. Their dynamic is made better by the fact that they're literally polar opposites. We have one who is alive and one who is dead, so you don't get much opposite than that. But seriously, we have Molly who is an optimistic and fun-loving girl who wants to make everybody in the world happy. And we have Scratch who is this uptight supernatural creature whose job it is to literally scare the shit out of everybody else or he basically dies, even though he's a ghost. I'm still not clear on what happens to him, he gets sucked into some portal in the ghost world, but hopefully the show clears it up in the future. But the way they relate with each other is the best part. The relationship feels so natural and relatable, with each character contributing and benefiting equally from the bond, which is how real friendships are supposed to be. And third, we can talk about the animation style of the show, because we can't talk about how alluring the show is without giving a nod to that animation style. It's appealing to the eye and flows so naturally that it gives off a sort of nice warmth. The show also shows its paranormal roots with the way Scratch is animated whenever he shows major emotions such as anger or fright. It matches the vibe the show tries to portray as it is a Halloween show. And with Halloween coming on later on in the month, on the 31st, I think this show will just continue to climb higher and higher and higher. And these three reasons complete the trifecta of the charm of the ghost and Molly McGee. And I think this show can only go up from here. So this is what I think makes everybody like the ghost of Molly McGee so much. And this is what I think its charm is found in. So in the end, it just boils down to the simple plot, the beautiful animation, and the character dynamic between Molly and Scratch. So these are what I think contributes to how beautiful the show is and how well it has been doing since it was released. And I do hope that the show continues to go up because this seems like a nice show that you could just sit down and watch when you're chilling or when you really got nothing to do. So if you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment down below and subscribe. I, we're so close to 100 subs. I want us to hit that in the next week. Also, this is the comment of the day. If you want to be featured in it, just leave a comment about the show down below. Johnny Two Cellos commented on my video, so I guess I'm not a nobody no more, which is good. but. Remember to share this video with everybody. Share this video to Zeus, share this video to Vladimir Putin, share it to King Jong-un, share it to Donald Trump, share it to Biden, share it to everybody. I'll see you guys next time.